Hey everybody, it's Creole Kisses with Awareness by Creole Kisses coming back with an update on the Carly Russell case. As we all know, it was reported on July 13th that she was missing and it threw the world in a frenzy. Everyone was worried about the situation. It was reported that she had been kidnapped. People worried about something possibly happening to them and people were giving prayers and just hoping that Carly was okay. So two days later, we hear that she knocked on her parents' door and she was okay. So I'm gonna get into the updates just to keep you guys informed. I'm gonna start a little bit from the beginning. So we know that Carly returned home on Saturday on foot according to the Hoover Police Department. They had obtained surveillance video from her neighborhood showing her walking down the sidewalk alone on Saturday night. And then there was a call made out to 911 that she was unresponsive but breathing. And when the fire department arrived, they did find that she was conscious and they took her to a nearby hospital. They treated her and released her eventually. And then Carly's mom took to social media and said that they needed privacy. They didn't want to speak too much on what was going on because they said she was terrified. Now, according to the police, Carly left her job around, I believe it was 8.20 p.m. She ordered food, went to Target to pick up snacks, then headed out on the Interstate 459 where she then made a phone call to 911 and reported that there was a toddler in a white t-shirt and diapers walking on the highway. I do have the official audio of that 911 call, which I will play in just a moment. Upon investigation, officers say that she uh, took some things from her job and she purchased these snacks. When they found her vehicle on the side of the road, the only thing in the vehicle was I believe it was her phone, her purse, and no sign of the snacks from Target, no sign of the things she took from her job. Mind you, she took a robe and toilet paper from her job. And they're still investigating this whole situation. They said that there are many items being looked at that could help in determining what actually happened within the 48 hours that she was missing. Police have yet to conduct a full interview with Carly. They are waiting for her to be made available to obtain more details in a statement about the sequence of events during that time frame. Let's go ahead and get into the statement made by the Hoover Police Department. Also, the official audio 911 call made by Carly the night she disappeared. After you listen to this, you guys give your thoughts on what you think is going on. There's so many opinions out there but the facts are coming out and the truth is going to come out at the end of the day. So till next time, be safe out there and I'll talk to you later. Peace. We owe it to our citizens to tell them the facts that we have uncovered. So I will give you the facts that we know today. On July 13th at approximately 8.20 p.m., Carly left work from a business at the summit. Surveillance video from her place of employment shows Carly concealed a dark colored bathrobe, a roll of toilet paper, and other items belonging to the business prior to her departure. She ordered food from Tzatziki's at the Colonnade and traveled there. She then traveled to Target on 280, where she purchased some granola bars and Cheez-Its. From there, she remained in the parking lot at that shopping center until 9.21 p.m. when she drove to I-459. Carly communicated on her cell phone with individuals known to her while in her path of travel up to the point of calling 911 at 9.34 p.m. Hi, I am on Interstate 459 and there is a kid just walking by their cell. Oh, hold on, hold on, where, where on 459 are you? Um, um, I'm right next to the exit, exit 10 by the Super Med, like to get off by the Super Med. Okay, here before the exit. Yes. Okay, and were you, you headed southbound or northbound? Okay, like towards Tuscaloosa or towards 280? Towards Tuscaloosa. Okay, and was the child on the left or right side? 
on the right side. Were they walking northbound or southbound? Um, they're walking towards Tuscaloosa. <coughs> walking southbound. On how old they look? Um, like a toddler, like maybe like three or four. Did you pull over with them? Are you still with them? Yes. Okay, you're, are you with the child right now? No, I'm not. I didn't get out of the car. I'm just, I, I can see them though. Can you, do you mind staying and keeping an eye on them until we get there? Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Okay, what kind of car are you in? I'm in a red Mercedes Benz. Is it a sedan or SUV? SUV. I mean, it's a, a, a sedan, sorry. Can you put your hazards on for me? Yeah, they're on. Okay. Did you talk to the child at all, or did you say anything to them? No. Okay. No. Do they look like they're injured? No, they don't. Are they white, black, Hispanic, or Asian? They're white. Okay. Is a male or female? I think it's a boy, a little boy. White male? Okay. So is he wearing clothes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What is he wearing? Um, it's a white t-shirt, and it doesn't look like he has any pants on. It looks like a diaper. And you don't see any cars anywhere? No, no cars anywhere. Okay. All right, what's your name? My name is Carly Russell. And you don't see any injuries on the child from where you're at, correct? No, no, but I can't really see them that good. Okay, try to keep an eye on them for the best they can because I don't want you to lose track of them. Um, okay. All right, and do they have shoes on? No. Not shoes? Not that I can see. I can't really see that look. Okay. All right, I've got them on the way, okay? Just try to stay, keep an eye on them, but the officers are on the way, okay? Okay, thanks. Thank you. Okay, bye. On July 11th at 7.30 a.m., the term, you have to pay for an Amber Alert or search. On July 13th at 1.03 a.m., the day of her disappearance, the term, how to take money from a register without being caught was searched. On July 13th at 2.13 a.m., the day of her disappearance, the term Birmingham bus station was searched. On July 13th, 2.35 a.m., a search for a one-way bus ticket from Birmingham to Nashville was conducted with a departure date of July 13th. On July 13th, at 12.10 p.m., a search for the movie Taken, a film about abduction, was conducted. There were two searches related to Amber Alerts on a computer at Carly's place of employment, including one regarding the maximum age of an Amber Alert. There were other searches on Carly's phone that appeared to shed some light on her mindset, but out of respect for her privacy, we will not be releasing the content of those searches at this time.